EA Sports. It's in the game. Come on, you're right here, Boston. Let's go, Red Sox. Let's go, Red Sox. EA Sports is in the game. MVP Baseball 2005. Hello and welcome everyone to Bush Stadium. Hi everybody, I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Krupko, just moments away from MVP Baseball with EA Sports. Today, starter for the home team, Mark Mulder. This game features the San Francisco Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals. The game's first batter is Ray Durham. This guy's dangerous in the batter's box. Matter of fact, he's dangerous in the on-deck circle. Hold on the ground, foul. Outside, one ball and one strike. Not too hot to be uncomfortable, just a great day to watch some baseball. They check down at first. Two balls and two strikes. Well, the bottom just drops out of his split. He often goes to it in clutch situations. And now it's a full count. He gets the base on balls. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. I mean, he just lets him get away. Here's Omar Vizquel. Mulder delivers a ball, 1-0. Oh. Okay, this dude just knows how to steal a bag. I mean, he studies film, he studies Let's pitchers, go. and he can be trying to apply all that right now. Vizquel sends a liner out to center field. He's rounding second. And they take the first lead of the game with that run. That's a nice at bat right there. He got that run home and he ended up in scoring position himself. Now the plate. Stepping in, Marquise Grissom. One on and nobody out. He sends this pitch to left. Sanders with the easy catch. That'll drop in for a base hit. He's rounding third. And a run comes home. RBI double. Dowd did a good job there to drive in one and set the table to score another. That's what I'm talking about. This guy can hold his own when batting versus left-handers. That's out number two. Now batting Edgardo Alfonso. This batter is no slouch when he bats against southpaws. In there for a strike. He delivers the pitch. And the pitch. The pitch is hit to center field. Nice catch by Edmonds. Here's the batting order for the home team. Starting on the hill for the visiting team, Jason Schmidt. And here's a look at how the defense is lining up. Now, that'll bring 
bring up David Eckstein. On the ground. And he's out on the play. Walker to the plate. There aren't too many left-handed hitters who enjoy the type of success this guy has against right-handed pitching. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. Gets a strike high in the strike zone. Misses for a ball. That's a good pitch in this situation. Try to make him chase one out of the zone. He hits it to short. Vizquel oh. makes the play. Now at the play. Next up, Bird Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols. Nope, miss for a ball. When you get a fastball like that, you're not going to give up a whole lot of runs. They appeal to first on the check swing. He went. Schmidt readies for the one-two pitch. Who holds? It's this pitch to short. That's out number three. With one inning played, the Giants lead by a pair of runs. Up next, J.T. Snow. He is out there with none stuff. There's a line drive. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. Kai Peters know that they can take pitches from this left-hander as he will walk guys. He sends this one into orbit. Long gone. There was no doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second it hit the bat. Matheny didn't make great contact, but that ball just kept going and going and going. That is sweet work to get the solo jack. Here's Jason Schmidt. Bases empty with one out. Just missed the corner. This pitcher has three different pitches that he'll throw in any count. Mulder delivers another ball, 2-0. That was a close pitch, but the up thought was a little too far off the black to be a strike. Slider right down the middle. Full count here. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. And he takes the walk. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. I mean, he just lets him get away. Next at the plate, Ray Durham. Ray Durham. Ball. Nope, missed for a ball. This guy's a stud, Kite. He expects to be on that mound all the way to the ninth inning every time. Now, this is a perfect time for the hit and run. The count shows that the pitcher needs to come across the plate. Let's see what happens. And the count is three and two. That's a good pitch in this situation. Try to make him chase one out of the zone. What a terrific at bat. And he takes the walk. Okay, that guy showed great patience at the plate. He'll gladly take the walk. Now batting Omar Vizquel. Doesn't get the call. That's a ball. His pitches consist of a pretty decent four-seam heater and a decent changeup and a good slider. He threw a great splitter that time. Call strike. Fouls it off. Line. What a play! Pardon, that was a pretty good play in that line drive. The infielder really got a good jump on him. He takes a hit away. 
Coming to the plate, Marquise Grissom. Kind of the guy standing in right field has his share of outfield assists. Look for the runner to stay at third if it's hit to right. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. Heading into the bottom of the second, the score is three to nothing. Stepping in, Scott Rowland. Didn't find the plate for a ball. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. One and one, the count. This guy has two out pitches. It's hit to the left side. His quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. Digging in, Jim Edmonds. On the ground. He's on first with a hit. Up next, Reggie Sanders. He tries to pick him off. Here's the pitch. Gets a strike high in the strike zone. His number one pitch is his fastball. Double play situation. Pitcher's got to try and keep the ball down here to force the hitter to hit the ball on the ground. Doesn't get the call. That's a ball. Try to put away the hitter with a heat. Pickoff throw. He's on with a single. Hey, the guy thought he could sneak that slider by him. I don't think so. Next at the plate, Mark Grizzolani. And he takes a pitch high. One ball and one strike. God, this guy's more than capable of going the distance every time he gets on the mound. Whoa. Two balls and two strikes. That's a good pitch in this situation. Try to make him chase one out of the zone. Strokes this one into left field. He squeezes it for the out. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner. Giving the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. Molina hits this pitch to short. Got him for the out. After two innings, the Cardinals trail by three. Hey, there's no saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. Hit towards first base, and he's out. That'll bring up Moises Alou. And the delivery. That's fouled off his foot. One ball, two strike count. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. He bobbles the ball. There's the second out of the inning. Now batting, now batting Edgardo Alfonso. Here's the delivery. That one's rolled to third. 
Plenty of time for the right fielder to settle under this one. Mulder cruises through that inning, one, two, three. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the score is three to nothing. The next batter is Mark Mulder. Whiffed on the pitch on the corner. He just missed that by about a yard. That's a strike with the curveball. He goes with the pitch and takes it down the left side. That's the first out. Stepping in, David Eckstein. Hey, Kai, let's see if the manager plays it safe with the bunt or lets the batter hack away. Kai, you can't hit the ball if you don't get the bat off your shoulders. I have no idea what he was looking for. The pitch is fouled off to the right. One, two count. And that's a good pitch in this situation, trying to make that batter fish for a hard slider. He goes out to right. That's a two-bagger. Coming to the plate, Larry Walker. Center fielder's not known for a good throwing arm, so on a base hit, expect that runner to try and score. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. He hits one on a line the other way. He's around third. And a run scores. Hit that ball on the ground hard enough to get past the infield for a base hit. That ball was smoke. Next up, Albert Kuhlholz. Laid off that one for a ball. They've set that defense at double play depth. If you can get a ground ball right here, they might get two. Umpire calls ball. He tries to pick him off. Two ball, one strike count. Hey, there's no saying a baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. The pitch is hit towards second. And they got him for the out. That'll bring up Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland. You can't hit the ball if you don't get the bat off your shoulders. I have no idea what he was looking for. And on three pitches, he's gone. After three innings, San Francisco leads by two. Next at the plate, J.T. Snow. J.T. Snow. One ball, one strike, the count. That's in the hole, a base hit. Base hit to lead off the Three, inning. Two, now. Digging now in with one home run it. already, Mike, Mike Matheny. Matheny. Low for a ball. He tries to pick him off. Hey, there's no saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. Down he goes on strikes. Now batting, the pitcher, Jason Schmidt. 
That's one out. Here we go. Over to first again. That's a push bunt. Two out. Hey, that's a heck of a job by the pitcher. He made a good play to throw out the runner. Now, play the second baseman, Ray Jura. There you go. Two down. Lines one the other way. Heading into the bottom of the inning, San Francisco leads by two. The next batter is Jim Edmonds. Edmonds hits this pitch to short. Out on the play. Here's Reggie Sanders. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. It's hit over towards third. The third baseman gloves it. Coming to the plate, Mark Grizzolani. That one's headed for the stands, and it's out of here! God, this dude's so strong, he doesn't even know his own strength. Up, Yadier Molina. The ball is hit out to right. That'll do it for the inning. With five innings left, San Francisco leads by one. Stepping in, one for two, Omar Vizquel. There's a close pitch called a ball. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. ball. Takes a pitch high. Mulder is right there. That's one down. Stepping in, Marquise Grissom. He belts it way back, way back, and gone. I thought the thing was going to leave the yard altogether. What a shot. One ball, no strike count. Dowd lays off ball two. He drills it deep and gone. Home run. Hey, Kite, there are not too many ballparks that would have held that one. Up next, Moises Alou. One ball count. Changeup missed upstairs. 
The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. He's aboard with a one-out single. The Cardinals have someone warming up in the bullpen. Next at the plate, Edgardo Alfonso. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. There's a close pitch called a ball. A successful hit and run right here, and they go to first and third just like that. Alfonso hits this pitch to short. There's a perfect example of that infielder taking away a base hit on that line drive. Good play. That's his pickoff move. One on and two outs. He belts this one. Going back. Way back. Now batting, now batting Mike Matheny. Kind of, they decide to send a runner home and hit the right field. I can guarantee you there'll be a play at the plate. Two RBIs on the double. He not only did he get himself two RBIs on that double, but he put himself in great position to score if somebody else can get a hit. That's the seventh run allowed by Mulder. Schmidt is the hitter. Oh, he wants to get this guy. No way you want to give up a hit to your counterpart. One ball and no strikes. Hey, partner, that's not necessarily a bad splitter. It's when you start throwing the splitter for strikes, you get in trouble. Whoa. Takes a pitch high. Partner, that fastball looked a little flat. This guy could be running out of steam. He reaches with a single. He's got to be more careful with location on that fastball or he's going to get himself in trouble. That's all for him today. Here's the right-handed reliever, Jason Simontacci. Takes a pitch high. Hit on the ground. Gathers it in with his glove. The side is retired with runners stranded at the corners. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the Cardinals trail by five. That'll bring up Jason Simontacci. This one's out to center field. Grissom puts it away. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner. Giving the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. Swings and misses. It's now 0-2. Talk about hitting the target. Nice pitch. That will drop in for a base hit. He's on with a one-out single. Stayed with that pitch over the outside corner and went the other way for the knock. Stepping in, one for two, Larry Walker. He's going back at the track, the wall, over the shoulder. What a catch! That's one heck of a catch. What a tough play. Coming to the plate, Albert Pujol. Hits it into foul territory. Missed high for a ball. Part of that fastball looked a little flat. This guy could be running out of steam. Line drive up the middle. He's in there with a two-out single. 
Tight base running is like everything else. You've got to anticipate to be good at it. The runner on first anticipated a single, got it, and he moved right around the third easily. Stepping in, Scott Rowland. First pitch of the at bat is on its way. He's sprinting. There's a run. RBI base hit. Kite, okay, it's just like anything else. On the bases, you've got to be alert. You've got to anticipate. I mean, what a good job of base running he did right there to get from first to third. Digging in, Jim Edmonds. He makes a heck of a catch. Hey, partner, that's not an easy play to make. Well done. Up next with an RBI in the game, Omar Vizquel. This switch hitter has a much more refined swing from the right side. That one's out to left and should be an easy play. Up next with a homer already in the game, Marquise Grissom. Roland makes the routine catch. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. That's in foul ground, but he should have room. That'll do it for the Giants in the sixth. Heading into the bottom of the sixth, St. Louis trails by four. The next batter is Reggie Sanders. The pitch. Hit deep to left. And he gets there for the out. That was not an easy play. Up next, Mark Grizzolanik. He sends the pitch out to the right side. He makes the play on foul ground for the out. Next up, Yadier Molina. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Swing and a miss. Ground ball ripped up the middle. He's on with a two out single. Here's John Mabry. Pitch taken for a ball. The fastball arm action is what you need to throw an effective changeup. Just missed the corner. Now the pitcher does not want to fall any further behind this guy, so he should be coming in with something across the plate. Keeping that in mind, this could be a perfect time to hit and run. He works out of base on balls. Stepping in two for three, David Eckstein. He hits it to short. That'll do it for the Cardinals, but there are still three innings remaining. With six innings played, the Giants lead by a margin of four. The Cardinals go to the bullpen. They brought in the righty, Cal Eldred. The count is 1-0. Last season, he batted 293 with 39 home runs and 106 runs batted in. And the count is 3-0. The catch is set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took a heater for a ball. He sends this pitch up the middle. Runner in scoring position now with no outs after a leadoff double. Stepping in, Edgardo Alfonso. 
taken for a ball. On a ground ball on the left side right here, the infielders have to look that runner back and then fire on to first. The right side just needs to get the out at first. Hitters ahead, two and one. This past season, he hit 289 with 11 long balls and 77 RBIs. That was not an easy play. Stepping in, two for three, JT Snow. Fouled away. Not a great swing there. He started late. He did lucky just to get a piece of that one. Laid off that one for a ball. The infielders have to be thinking, ground ball to the left side, look the runner back on to first. Ground ball to the right side, just go to first. The appeal goes to third on the check swing. He sends this pitch to left. Makes the catch to record the out. Okay, if he's gonna feed this guy crumbs because the pitcher's hitting next. Oh, partner, that pitch was nasty. That's about as unhittable a pitch as I... He couldn't even hit it if he swung at it anyway. He crossed the plane on the front of the plate. Just off the plate. That curveball did not bite at all. He strikes out looking. Seventh inning stretch time. Next at the plate, Larry Walker. Larry Walker. Walker gets this pitch to short. They get the out on the play. Vizcal really made a nice throw right there. That's a job well done. That'll bring up Albert Pujols. A spectacular grab by Snow. Hey, that ball was screaming through the infield until it met his glove. Great play by a great fielder. Up the middle. That's a stand-up double. Good swing, good hustle, and a little luck contributing to that extra base hit. Super jump. Taken for a ball. The fastball arm action is what you need to throw an effective changeup. He made contact, but it's foul. Almanza is preparing to enter the game out in the bullpen. He comes up a little bit short. A run scores. He brings home a runner with that two out hit. Stepping in one for three, Reggie Sanders. He goes to first. Ball missed time. That's a purpose pitch. Slider off the plate, hoping the batter would chase. Laid off that one for a ball. And here's the delivery. It's hit out to center field. He's on his way to third. A run scores on the play. Good play to move that runner into scoring position. Digging in, Mark Grizzolani. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Just off the plate. The fastball arm action is what you need to throw an effective changeup. Okay, this team really needs a big hit from this guy right here with the runner on second. A single would do the job. And he's on first with a walk. 
And that's not what he wanted there. He threw a lot of pitches, and he has a runner at first to show for it. The pitcher's in the on-deck circle, so he shouldn't give this guy much to hit. He jacked that one way back and gone. Wow. That was smoked out of here. No doubt about it. The Giants call for a reliever. They've brought in the lefty, Armando Almanza. Next up, Roger Cedeno. With this guy hitting guy, the infielder should be on their toes. This guy's got some great wheels. Ball. Pitch taken for a ball. 1-1 pitch by Almanza. Hit the other way to the right side. That'll do it for the Cardinals, but there are still two innings left. With seven innings played, the score is 8-7. to seven. The Cardinals bring in a new pitcher. King comes in to try to provide some relief. And a breaking ball up high. On the ground, Torrey Alba hits it through the right side of the infield. He's on first with a leadoff single. Isringhausen is warming up in the bullpen. Now, I don't think sacrifice bunts are this guy's specialty. He squared the bunt and then pulled back. He keeps him honest with a throw over to first. He tries to push bunt. They get the out. Durham got a good pitch to handle right there. Stayed on top of it, put it on the ground. Nicely done. Coming to the plate, Omar Vizquel. One oh count. Kind of looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. He's trying to bunt for a base hit. And he's out at first base. That was a pretty good bump. The pitcher got off the mound in good shape to throw him out. Pitch misses. The pitch is stroked out to right field. The side is retired and will go to the bottom of the inning. Going into the bottom of the eighth, the score is eight to seven. Up next, David Eckstein. Now the manager's got to be thinking, do I play it safe and punt? Or he got all of that one, no doubt about it. Second that ball comes off the bat, everybody knew it was out of the yard. That was a shot. Here's Larry Walker. There's a strike swinging. Late on the fastball. Almost a great play. He can't make the catch. The ball popped away. Next at the plate, Albert Pujol. Man on first with no outs. Walker is taking off.
Torrealba threw a perfect strike, partner. That runner had no chance. Pujols takes a ball and has worked it into a hitter's count, 2-0. That curveball is most effective when the pitcher is throwing all of his pitches over the plate. Hit to the right side. Out! Now, Stepping in two for four, Scott okay. Rowland. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. Here's the pitch. And on three pitches, he's gone. With one inning remaining, the Cardinals lead by two. They're making a pitching change. They've brought in the closer, Armando Almanza. Dowd up next. This is it. They're going to have to create some offense in a hurry. Looks like they didn't want any part of that guy, Kite. Stepping in right two field. for four, Moises Alou. Hit the other way to the right side. The runner tries to break up the double play. That's a fielder's choice. Stepping in, Edgardo Alfonso. What a win. Strike swinging. He was behind that pitch. Late on the fastball. Ball. Pitch missed inside. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start two. Fouls it away. Oh. Two and two the count. Yeah. Hit to left field. Taguchi puts it away with ease. He wants to go right after this guy so the pitch will leave out the next inning. Curveball is most effective when the pitcher is throwing all of his pitches over the plate. The tying run is taking his practice swings in the on deck circle. And it's hit to right. And that'll do it. The win is picked up by Cal Eldred. Schmidt is the loser. Jason Isringhausen gets the save. The St. Louis Cardinals win it by two.